I think what reading you... into like all that stuff isn't like yeah it's like not the greatest thing like as a player of like any sport esport like to read into things because like and kind of just want to focus on yourself your team i know what we're capable of i'm not letting that, that uh slow us down Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview covering VCT America Stage 1. I'm here accompanied by IC of G2 Esports, who are just coming off of a loss 200 Thieves in the second week of said stage. And so, IC, thank you so much for, like I said, before the start of the recording. And yeah, like, um, as I usually do, you know, asking about this recent result, you know, how are you taking this, this result in, uh, in particular? Um, it's rough, like, being my first loss, you know, like, I'm new, I'm a rookie. And like, yeah, I mean, this is our, this is our first loss. Uh, I feel like we weren't able to fully execute our game plan. So it came down to that. And for myself, I felt like I wasn't able to play to my standard. And I think that going forward will be better. And this is just one loss. And, you know, it's early season, so I'm not stressing it too hard. Yeah, and it was... It in some ways this was like kind of the reverse of what happened compared to like last week in which you guys dominated eg um wire to wire but then you know for this week it was kind of like uh, 100 thieves returning the favor to you guys and uh of course obviously resulting in a loss for you guys and yeah like um going a little bit into that series what, what do you think was kind of like the the biggest factor behind the team's loss was it just like communication or anything else would like or just sort of individual form not really uh, um, doing well as as you hoped i would say it's like a mix of everything like between like individual form and i think like between like with communication i felt like a lot of things were panicked and rushed like it felt like we weren't on the same page at some points when in practice like all week leading up to the match it felt like we were really well prepared and like we like got past like all that stuff so I think a lot of it just came down to, yeah, like shooting, just like individual, but also like I felt like we weren't able to play the way we wanted to. And we were we were rushed, we were panicked. What do you think led to that kind of rushed slash panicked mode that you that you said you guys were on? What do you think led to that? Um, I feel like for me, like uh, I feel like some of it is just like me like being new and like feeling like pressure. But also, like, I just think this general just nerves. Um, yeah, it just felt like we weren't able to execute because, like, I got to redo this. Sorry. I'm, like, rambling. No, no, you're not really, not really rambling. You're not really yapping. You know, you're just, you're just, you know, saying it as best as you can. So, yeah, and I do appreciate, you You know, you saying, you know, talking about that kind of stuff. Um, looking over to your individual form, of course, you know, of, of course, whenever people look at, um, the scoreboard of you know certain matches for certain teams. They're gonna look at the, at the KDAs and ratings and stuff like that. And of course, you know when I say that, I do say you, you didn't play as well in split. You know after going off of a of a pretty decent showing on Yoru in bind. But yeah, but not just focusing on that. Looking at the entire series, how did you view your performance in particular? Um, for myself, like I would just say it wasn't to my standard because I think there was a lot of missed opportunity. Like I had definitely moments where I could have gotten multi kills or just like a cleaner entry. I think a lot of the rounds actually came down to that. But yeah, like for myself, like I know map one, like I guess I like had more kills, whatever, whatnot. But like I feel like it was for both maps. There was a lot of missed opportunity and like going into map two, we weren't we weren't like starting off hot on either map. And then on map two, I just felt like I wasn't getting a lot of like kill opportunity and I was missing the opportunities that I needed to get. I think a lot of that led to like missed round like success, but yeah. Yeah, unfortunate as it is, but you know, as this as it is the case in competition, you get another chance, you know, for next week or more more over super wing. But yeah, that's where the future will still keep on focusing now. And yeah, like it's interesting just looking at this G two team. And when I say this, I one of the biggest factors is yourself, I see, given the fact that you're the newest member of the team joining in, uh, this G two squad. You know, from kickoff. You know, for now, and hopefully later on in the year. How have you been fitting in uh, with this G two team? You know, roughly two weeks into the to the regular season. You know, anything else of the like in practice. You know, communication, all that stuff, all that jazz. So, how have you been kind of fitting in with the team, and what do you think are the biggest 
um, pros and cons do you feel like you know you you've been experiencing as of now? Yeah, I feel like it can like only go up from here. Like I feel like like this, yeah, like maybe one of our low points. But I do think I'm like fitting well into the team. I think things are running smoothly. I think things have been like going well. Like in practice, it felt like we were really well prepared. Like going into this match, and like even the match before, like it feels like things have been going well. It was just poor execution today. But in general, like I, I'm finding myself like fitting within the team. I feel comfortable in like my role, and I feel like I'm like able to like produce lots of impact. And yeah, like you've been you've been sliding into the duelist, and which is a it's a, it's a role that you've had prior experience in in prior to 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 reaching this this level of pro pro competition, and yeah, like um, how have you been kind of adapting to this role, you know? Uh, uh, for this team, and just playing with a new cast of teams, you know, in particular, you know, coming off of tier two and now going into tier one in such a, I would say, quick manner. Um, I I feel like very comfortable within my own role, like uh, with the team. Like we, there was obviously a role change when I came in, so Leaf went to Sun Null, me to Duelist. I think like that process has been pretty smooth. Um, I mean, yeah, like I'm I'm feeling good on the Duelist. Like I wasn't able to show like what I wanted to today. I think a lot of that, like, we just, like, failed to execute. But, like, in general, I feel like I'm slotting in well at the duelist uh, role. And I feel like I'm, yeah. Yeah, and looking at, at your recent um, two matches against EG and, and, and G2, you know, many people would say that, you know, Perhaps you know you could do better, you know, statistics wise. But yeah, of course, I do say this with the fact that you know you you you're you're fitting in with the team and just trying to still be in the process or just figuring things out as you go along. And yeah, but even so, like people kind of like look at your performance so far in stage one and say, oh, like Icy is not doing well on a duelist and things like that. When you look at the kind of uh, reaction and just kind of all the discourse around you and your recent performances what how do you kind of uh, look at that do you kind of feel affected by that or do you kind of no pay no mind to it or something uh, stuff stuff like that um, i feel unaffected like i don't think i'm gonna let that slow me down i know like what i can do i know my potential as a player i feel like i wasn't able to show that in this like re most recent match even like the eg match but i'm i'm not letting that lose like I'm not letting that like affect me. I'm not not losing confidence. Like I'm so confident. I know what I can do. I feel like going into this game, there was like even like factors that like maybe even like made us like not play to our standard. And I I I'm not like losing any confidence. I'm not gonna let things affect me. I think what you... reading into like all that stuff isn't like yeah, it's like not the greatest thing like as a player of like any sport, esport, like to read into things because like again, I just want to focus on yourself, your team. I know what we're capable of. I'm not letting that that uh, slow us down. What do you think you feel is left for you to kind of now take that step to just playing as how you usually play, just playing uh, the way that that you want to play, and just having the results that you want to have. You know, what what do you think is kind of needs to be done for you to kind of reach that desired level? Um, I think a lot of it like comes down like to our general like team play and our game plan. And just being able to fully execute, I think when we're firing at all cylinders, like that's when like everything's gonna hit. Like we're all coming at you. Like I feel like when when things are going, like they're gonna go. And I'm I'm looking forward to when that happens. And I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, and now kind of looking at, at the rest of the schedule and just looking at at the at the team that you guys are gonna have to go on. You know, super week going against Fury and Leviathan, MIPR, and then Loud after that. Um, f final sort of questions: How do you look at at the road ahead? You know, your next opponents and, and and stuff like that. How do you look at at your upcoming schedule? Um, like yeah, like there's like a, a lot of games in a short time, but I just know we're gonna take it one game at a time. We're gonna come in prepared. We're gonna play our game. And for one more question before I wrap it up. When you look at your your experience in tier two, and you try to look back at the road you've taken, and just seeing at the things that helped you be the kind of player that you are, to reach tier one, what do you feel? Well, first off, how do you look back on that experience in tier two, and and how that made you, and also, how do you now look at tier one, moving ahead, and just trying to 
to, to just build on the momentum that you kind of already set beforehand. I feel like uh like I feel like I've been at this level. Like I play with EG Reserve, like you know, every day we were streaming evil geniuses, like the world champions. Like I feel like like throughout like the off season, like leading up to this season, like I feel like I've like always like been like up there. I feel like in these scrims, like I compete. I've like put up numbers against like the top teams. Like I know what I'm capable of. And it's all about just like showing it now that I'm like finally here in the the real like BCT. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And hopefully, you know, you're able to just uh, work on the things that you've been talking about in addition to the rest of the team and just hopefully get on on a better start for Super Week. And so, Icy, thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, give my regards to the rest of the team, but also best of luck goes to you uh, for the next one. Of course. Thank you.